Greetings, greetings, beautiful beings. It is your girl, Ki Andi, and I'm coming to you from my channel, Wild Moon Child here on YouTube. Today I'm going to be doing a collective consciousness tarot card reading for the sign of Sagittarius. From all the way to Sagittarius. I would like to welcome you all to 2020. Isn't that something? It's a beautiful, beautiful energy. Beautiful energy and the readings that have come before you have been really positive readings and um, what I'm seeing is that spirit is pretty much giving us all a, a clean slate to figure it out figure out where it is we want to, to co-create our existence from this point on how we want to co-create from this this physical realm with the spiritual realm because those things that we think act and speak are going to start coming into fruition pretty fast for us so be mindful of you know, how you speak about yourself and how you speak about others, how you talk to yourself, how do you talk about others, and how you act towards yourself, you know, as well as others. Because all those will play a role in how this year and this decade move forward for us. All right. So, Spirit Guides, Angel Guides, and Divine Ancestors, what messages do you have for the collective consciousness of the sign of Sagittarius as we walk out of 2019 and into 2020, into this unknown energy? What messages do you have for them? Yes. Three of Cups, lovely card. Celebrate yourself, honey. Celebrate your achievements and all the stuff that you have, you have embarked upon in your time on this physical realm up till now. Embrace that. It's a beautiful energy. Beautiful, beautiful energy. All right. So what messages do you have for the sign of Sagittarius? The next card that you got was the Knight of Pentacles. That you got is the wheel of fortune. Mm. All right. And the next card that you got was the tower, and we're going to take one more card for you, Sagittarius. All right. We had a flipper, so I'm going to take that. As we leave 2019, you are leaving with baggage, honey, honey, mental baggage at that, you know, you are um, carrying a lot of um, mental energy. As you can see, you know, this is the Six of Swords. She's got her Six Swords. She's traveling from these this turbulent waters, choppy to something that is a lot more calm and that's good because it's a change of pace, it's a new um, a new place, she's traveling somewhere else but she's still carrying with her swords or mental energy or mental cards there about how you internalize things and rationalize things in your mind and this person look at her hair, you know she's just she's She's not wanting to carry that stuff with her. She just feels like she's stuck with it. And this is something that I feel is really self-imposed that you've taken with you. Leave it now. Leave it now. Um, do your spiritual cleanse. Do your spiritual baths. You know, clean out. Declutter your home. Sage your home if you need to. Because these are energies and things that this is It's not this person's stuff. You know, she's just taking on a lot of stuff from other people that she's carrying with her on to this next place. 
and I don't want you to be doing that. That's not how we want to start out a new year and a new decade. That's not how we want to be proceeding forward because you have a lot of things to celebrate. You have come a long way in your life. If it wasn't this, this past year, then it's been this past decade that you have a lot to celebrate about yourself. There's been a lot of changes, a lot of emotional changes where you really need to just be like, kudos to me. You know what? I did that. You know, I got control of my emotions. And I need to celebrate those things, those small little steps forward that I, I have noticed in myself emotionally. I need to honor those. So get around people that have seen you go through this, <clears throat> this change and this growth, uh, emotional uh, growth, and, and honor yourself. One moment. So make sure that you take the time to honor that. And I apologize, my my five-year-old came over and was about to have a whole conversation about something on his tablet and uh, <laughs> we don't want that to be part of the video <laughs> so uh, your next card Sagittarius is the um, Knight of Pentacles the Knight of Pentacles is all about <clears throat> after you have celebrated yourself and even if you've done it on your own just to be celebratory about the the accomplishments that you have made emotionally and the emotional growth that you've had either over this past year or this past decade. And just just be still in what you have created in your life. You have removed some things from your life. You have gotten some stability in your life. And you can see that this is, yes, a night. And nights is all about messages and things coming in. But this is going to be slow moving things coming in. Or this is going to be a moment where you just pause and just admire where you are in your life and what you have created from the growth that you have had because once you take that time you'll see that the the wheel of fortune begins to spin in your favor if things weren't on the positive you know in this past year or this past decade then now this this tide will begin to shift in your favor and vice versa if you've been on top of the world for this last year or this last decade then things may start to rotate in a position where you're gonna you know start feeling like okay um yeah stuff's changing and i'm not really digging it and <clears throat> Because this is your next card out, I'm thinking that you are in a pretty good place. Now it's time for a tower moment. This is sudden change. This is something in your life that's just going to be like, boom, you're not going to expect this. I don't know what it's going to be for any of you. It's going to be different for each of you because you are all, you know, different people and individuals on different paths. But something is about to change. Now, if you've been, you know, <clears throat> doing well and... And now the tides are turning where you're about to go through some challenges, then this tower moment may be something that is just like, whoa, you know, hell no, I don't want to do this. And this is this is a lot to take in. However, if you've been on the struggling end and now the tides are about to change, then this <clears throat> tower moment will be something unexpected that that brings you joy that makes you like oh my goodness that just happened all of a sudden that's crazy and I, I'm so happy it happened but yeah I didn't want to have to go through all of this you see this car it's going to be some sudden upheaval some type of really big challenge that's going to present itself in some way shape or form in your life it's going to be in different areas for everybody <clears throat> only you know how it's going to affect you but or only you will see how it's going to affect you but it will come and it will be out of the blue and you will be taken aback by it. <laughs> and after this tower moment, you'll be fine. You'll be looking at your emotional state of mind again and you will be like, you know what? I'm cool. I'm cool. But why are you saying you're cool? Keep an open mind that spirit is going to be offering you something else. Spirit is saying to this person here, I have a cup for you. While you're looking at those three and feeling like, okay, this is it. This is where I'm going to be. This is my life for the next year. Or, you know, this is just where I am right now. It's all right. Always keep yourself open to possibilities that something else is on the horizon or something else is being offered to you. Always give thanks to spirit before you even see the transitions that are coming in your life. Give thanks to spirit when you have these tower moments, when you feel like the whole world is falling apart. Be like, you know what? This 
is crazy and I don't want to, I don't really like this situation or I don't like how this change is so abrupt or how this is presented itself. But I know there's a lesson behind this. I know that there's some growth on the other side of this because we cannot get rainbows without thunderstorms and without rain, you know? So when you are presented with those challenging times in your life, then do honor them and say, you know, I know something really big and beautiful is on the way. I just have to be patient for it and just be happy where I am in the moment, but honor what is coming in and, and, and know that spirit has my back. And this is for my greatest good, so. Yes. All right. And I'll do a clarifier for the tower moment to see what area in your life or what area in your situation this may arise in. All right, Spirit, please clarify the tower card for me. As it pertains to the collective consciousness of the sign of Sagittarius, please clarify. All right. You're going to be judged for something. You're going to be put in the spotlight about something. People are going to be looking up to you and they're going to be questioning you and they're going to be asking you questions about how you do what you do. But as you can see, if you look at the judgment card, this person is too their own horn. They like, you know what? I've been through some things and I can sound the alarm and, 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 and show you how I did what I did. And these people are praising that person. They are like looking at that light. I mean, looking at that person and honoring that person's um, horn and, and the, the fact that they've got their wings and they're up there and they're looking up to them. They're, they're on some type of platform where, you know, you may be, you know, telling your story of how you had to overcome some things emotionally, how you had to move forward and how you found the growth and how you content with where you are. And give me one card for a final outcome for the collective consciousness of the sign of Sagittarius. Again, you got this card twice. You won't always see the blessings that are before you. But there's always something that's that's coming in for you. Always be open to spirit and how spirit is speaking to you. Yes, be content where you are. But don't ever overlook the blessings that are coming in for you. Always be mindful that there are blessings coming in for you. Even in times where you just got to be still and, you know, nothing's really popping off in your life. Honor that. So I hope this resonates with the sign of Sagittarius and the collective consciousness of Sagittarius. Um, do feel free to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And I will be doing tarot card readings a little more in depth each month for each sign. And um, yes, as you journey into 2019, excuse me, out of 2019 and into 2020, do it with love, light, and prosperity. And be loved, be light, and stay wild, moon child. Two?